I don't know about you guys, but it's been really hot out here in New Jersey where I am. And that makes me want to eat light, fresh, you know, not something really heavy. Um, and it makes me go to Mediterranean, it makes me go Greek, especially because I grill a lot of chicken. So I try and think of things I can put with the chicken. And one of my favorite things is tabbouleh salad. And I kind of wanted to change it up a little bit because when you have traditional tabbouleh, you make it with bulgur. Um, and then there's a bunch of herbs and veggies and stuff, but I'm going to do it with lentils because I was out to dinner and I had a side of lentils come with my fish the other night and I was like, oh my God, lentils are so underused and it's usually a heavy herb legume used in the winter, kind of in the fall. I'm going to change that up. I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. I'm going to turn it into a fun, light tabbouleh salad. So instead of the bulgur, we're going to use lentils. We have tomatoes, fresh herbs. And of course, lemon. We're gonna move our tomatoes and our lemon. It's all about the herbs because tabbouleh is pretty much an herb salad. So I'm putting in, I have some fresh parsley. I put some scallions in mine. I put some cilantro in mine. I always put mint in it. It gives it that like, oh, you taste it. You're like, what is that? What? I love it. It's the mint. It's the mint, the mint, the lemon zest, and the mint. Those two together. Um, so big thing is nothing goes to waste. I use it all. We're gonna start chopping this up. Everything gets finely chopped. I dice my tomatoes and I small dice my um, red onion into my salad. Now the lentils are cooking right now. I'm just boiling them in water with a little bit of oil and sea salt. Okay, with the mint, you wanna treat it like as if you're gonna cut fresh basil. Mint bruises pretty easy, just like basil. Pulling the leaves, let me just show you a couple of them real quick. I like to take them when we ship them out, we roll them. I slice it in half. And then with my knife really thin, strips come out of it, and your knife only really cuts through it one time here because you don't want to bruise it. And so then you have some beautiful mint. Just the process of picking it all, doing it. So pour a glass of wine, put some music on that you like, and pick a mint. So you can see the parsley is just chopped fine. But I want to add different levels of texture to the salad. So with the scallions, I am going to I'm gonna go now the green is really the garnish and the onion flavor is really at the end but it you need both in the salad so we're going really thin just so you can see put my hand the right way very thin slice and you know me I like to be fancy so I go on an angle um, a little bit of a bias give that Asian feel and this is not an Asian salad it just elevates the way things look so nice and thin and you go all the way down and with the mint, I'm gonna do that into strips, kind of like we do basil, we're gonna ship it out of it. Okay. There we go. Into our bowl. Everything's just going into the bowl. Super easy salad. It shouldn't take you long to get invited to a last minute barbecue. Perfect thing to bring. Okay, all the herbs in here. So fragrant, it's so nice. Um, and then I'm gonna use a shallot instead of a red onion. I like the flavor of it a little bit better, but we're gonna go with a very small, let me just show you how small, because I don't want to bite into a really big chunk of onion. So we're gonna go with a really small dice. Don't make it pasty, don't mince it, but just a really nice small dice. So we're gonna cut that whole shallot, which shallots are pretty small, and cut that into a really nice small dice. Tomato. Pull the stem out. Yeah. Pull the stem out. Pull the stem out. I cut the tomato in half. And then cut it in pieces. I'm gonna do, yeah. See that? And we're gonna add that. Small dice. It was going back and forth in my head when I was doing it and I had to express it to you guys. Um, Gonna go with a nice dice, small dice, right in the same bowl. I added our shallots, I added all of our herbs. Our lentils are still cooking. I think they have like another two minutes left in them. I still want them to have like a nice al dente feel to them. Um, and then we're gonna make the vinaigrette to kind of go on it. So let's top, let's just finish chopping these tomatoes up. Now we're gonna make the vinaigrette. In here we have our shallot, our red onion, our mint, our parsley, our scallions. I have our lentils drained and cooling in the fridge. 
and I like to use a little bit of tahini just to help bind it. Make sure if you stir it real good so the sesame oil that's on top gets in. So we're just going to use around a tablespoon of tahini. Nice tablespoon. I'm going to use around a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Come on. There we go. Then you're going to juice your lemons. Oh yeah. Juice in your lemons into the bowl. Remember, we don't need to add any fresh herbs here because our whole salad is a bunch of fresh herbs. Um, and then I'll see some salt and pepper in there. But this is just so that you mix the tahini and the Dijon real good. And obviously you can see there's a lot of lemon juice that goes in. So it's super, super fresh. Okay, so olive oil is going to be next. So I'm going to do probably going to have a quarter cup be added into here. But using the base of the spoon just to kind of break up the um, tahini and the Dijon, kind of mix it all together. And I'm going to add in a quarter cup of red wine vinegar. Remember, I have a decent amount of salad here that I have to address. So um, it should be nice and light. It's super creamy looking. Ooh, good acid. Ooh, good acid. Nice lemon tart. And you know, with the lentils, they're a little bit more dense than bulgur. So I think the acid's gonna help really give a pow and a nice bite through. Um, so let's get the lentils. Okay, so I have our lentils. They're beautiful. They are nice and cool now. I kept them in the cooler. So I boiled these for 22 minutes. 22 minutes in water that was very salty like the sea. While the water was boiling and these were cooking, I made the prep for this. So this salad's literally taking me 30 minutes to make. So we're gonna add into the tomatoes and all the herbs are all of our lentils. And then now the dressing we made, we're gonna pour that right on in. I just splatter myself. Big spoon and start churning. Oh my goodness, I love when things come together. Really go to the bottom and turn because the herbs are all on the bottom. So just so you guys can see, look at the colors. Look how beautiful this looks. Um, you can also add a little feta if you want. Oh, I had to try it. Definitely needs salt. And lentils are going to absorb a good amount of salt. So don't be scared to season it. Another thing, if you are wanting to keep the salt on the lower end, add another lemon. That helps brighten the flavor as well. Sometimes acid brings up uh, flavors that you would get with salt. Some fresh ground pepper. Toss it all together. Let me get a plate so I can show you. Look at that salad. Look at that salad. I can't get a spoon. I'm just going to eat like this. Grilled chicken, dinner. Going on barbecue, side salad, done!